but I'm going to go on and we're going to play. Huh. What do you want to do? All right. We're going to play the segment with Johnny O. I'll be back probably in between here. Jay Stone, rockmetaltalk.com. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, frogs and toads, cats and dogs, whatever the fuck you want to call yourselves nowadays, it's time for the uh, top 10 segment of the Jay Stone Show. I'm your host, Johnny O, with my co-host and awesome buddy, Jeremy. Please send me an SOS flair. I replaced the CQD. CQ, very good. Yep, yep. yep. Just want to let you know that. I don't know what that means right now, but... Uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, so uh, first off, I want to say uh, thank you, Metallica, for taking forever and a fucking day to finally get me my goddamn Holy shit, that's huge. Vinyl, yes. I mean, fucking hell. I pre-ordered this thing three fucking months ago. I just have the little triple CD. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, no, I was taking the big vinyl thing. This thing's fucking amazing. It's awesome. I like it here. Yeah, yeah, go check it out. Yeah, check it out. So I was like... Uh, I went on to Metallica.com because I'm a member. I'm a fifth, you know, the Met Club member, right? And I ordered this thing um, three months ago, three months before it comes out. There's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, just, just, yeah. yeah. Here's your vinyl present. My vinyl present, yeah. So, you know, I mean, I paid, you pay for shipping and handling, almost $20 in shipping and handling and whatnot, and, you know. So was your total $666? It was close. No, it it was 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 like 90 bucks, 80 bucks. $80 80 or $90. Anyway, I paid it's 60 bucks just for the vinyl itself, the special hardwired to self just a special edition vinyl. 60 bucks just for that and like $20 for shipping. So it was 80 bucks. $80 right. I made on this motherfucker. Right. Album came out November 18th. Uh-huh. I didn't get this bitch until yesterday or two days ago. I just walked down to the store. And, uh, yeah, bought, right. Bought the exactly. Pack for for ten bucks. Exactly. You know, I'm thinking here, here, I'm here. I'm thinking. You know, if I wanted to wait until after, I could have gotten on Amazon yeah, the exact same for, thing for on from Am- I'm a I'm an Amazon Prime member, so oh. I get free two day shipping. A little mad, aren't you? Oh, I'm very very upset. So did I've you, been. Did you write them in, in? Oh yes. Okay. I've been emailing them since <laughs> it, since since the 18th when it wasn't on my doorstep. Every, I have been emailing hour, them every hour pretty much of every day. Yeah, I send yeah. an email. I think Jay from the Met Store is getting tired of my ass right now, but. Yeah, no, it's not cool. But you're a valued customer, sir. Yeah, I don't feel like it. Lars Ulrich of Metallica, who complained about Napster bullshit, yet yeah, you're going to Jew me on fucking <laughs> $20. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said Jew me. That's horrible. But you freaking take in. Jip you? How about them? No, are they're they okay. No, they're not. They're oh, not okay. okay. They are not okay. You're going to put your hand in my pocket for $20 and not make sure I get my album on time? That's not cool. I don't fucking want to carry around with no fucking wheels on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? We're top ten, top tenning. We're top tenning. tenning. Top. We're tenning on the top. Tenning on the top. We're tenning on the top. Tenning on the top. Tenning top. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Metallica, Hardwired to Self Destruct is an amazing album. Uh, if you haven't bought it or listened to it yet, you need to. It is the best thing they put out since, and Justice for All. I'm gonna put that out there. All right, let's do this. Uh, top ten albums of all time. This is gonna be the second to last show of the year. Holy crap! We have one more show coming after this, so we're gonna make them both good ones. So the rules are... Yeah, what are the rules there, Mr. The, Flair? The rules are uh, no soundtracks, no greatest hits, no compilations, and for, for me and you, only one Metallic album. Yeah, that's... Or, yeah. or else that would be the top ten. That would be the top ten right there, yeah. Um, yeah, that would be. Okay, so, yeah, uh, as always, Mr. Flair. <clears throat> well, Mr. O. Can I call you O? Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Good, cool. We're doing it anyway. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> Uh, the first one on my list, I put on my list first so that you could uh, b- you, berate you, me you for the next wanted, you wanted to, You wanted to start an argument, I think. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. right off the bat. Right off the bat. It's gonna, it. it should be higher on my list because I it's, do love the album. Oh, God. But I'm putting it first so I can just get it out of the way. What is it? It's Five Finger Death Punch, uh, Way of the Fist. Uh, it's angry. It's, it's angry and I love it. Five Finger Bloody Poop. It's garbage. You know what? I There's, can, I you, know under, what you know what I the redeeming under, quality about Five Finger Death Punch is? The other four fingers? Nothing. Okay. There's nothing redeeming listen, about them. They're listen, garbage. Everything They're horrible. you've ever said to me about them, yeah. I, I can understand your point of view. I hope so. For <laughs> everything after Way of the Fist. But Way of the Fist. There is no okay. before. There's no right. eighty. There is no in the year of the Lord with five finger death punch. What are you talking about right now? Are BC you getting 80, spiritual on me? BC before Christ. Oh 80. God, you're getting the the AC yeah. BC switch over. Getting a new what, bloody watch. What are you doing there? ACBC. AD. AD. <laughs> AD. At ACDC on my mind. I'm sorry. A little electricity for uh, you. Uh, God. Okay. What's your you know you know your opinion? You're loud. You're entitled. I, I, I like it because it's it's. I like it because it's angry, and that's all I'm going to say about it. I like it because it's angry. But and there's I like a lot it. of things that are angry that are not good. Uh, like Alanis Morissette's, uh, you know, 
first album. That was angry. So was that good? No, that was not angry. That was that was um, what's the word I'm looking for? What did, what do you call that? Um, that was, there's different. There's, angry. there's difference. There's a difference between a man screaming in anger and a woman like spitting out her anger. I don't know how to describe. It was it. very. Uh, there was a lot of vitriol in there. Vitrolistic, and you know, I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying. It was angry. It's just anyway, still different. still different. Okay, so go ahead, make your make your case. Make your case. I made my case. It's angry. That's it. Yeah, that's all it you was got? like the music. I understand the music's not that great, and the music is a lot better by other metal bands. I got it. But uh, Almost I, I like when Nickelback is better than oh, you. Jesus that's... Christ! No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. And what are you gonna say next? Creed's better. Come on, say it. Creed's better. Say it. I'm not saying Creed's better than anything. Uh, I'm not saying Five Finger Death. But I think Five Finger Death Punch belongs in the garbage, one layer below Creed. So you you number nine. Uh, so you're saying Creed's better. Oh, wait, I guess my ten, right? Damn it, my ten. Yes. Okay. My 10 would be Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness by the Smashing Pumpkins. Hmm. 1995. Yeah, I was in fifth grade. You oh, just dated myself. You dated yourself? I did. And, yeah, I did. You I dated yourself? You took yourself to McDonald's all the time? It <laughs> 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 made yourself only buy a hamburger. <laughs> Half a hamburger. Half just hamburger. Get this right. Yeah. And a fry. And a, one, one fry. How much is that going to cost me? 55 cents. Damn it. No, I only have 49. <laughs> Forget the fry. Forget the fry. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to go with that because, it, it, come on now. It, so many Smashing Pumpkins hits came off that album. Except for three that came off well, of Siamese yeah, Dream. Siamese Dream. Sure. That was a good one, too. That was, yeah, no, yeah but I think if it was better, because I think you could just plug it. It was a dual like disc. A, yeah, it's a plug and play, too. You just pop that sucker in, you know. I do think it was funny that uh, 1995 prom was, you know, the big song was Tonight Tonight, which uh song about suicide. Well, I mean, most kids, they try <laughs> to get laid, and uh, they don't, so. Oh, well, it's the end of my life. I'm oh, graduating. I'm eating. Eating my dick and some pussy. Oh, dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Or some ass, I yeah, guess. Whatever, I don't yeah. Whatever don't, like. don't, don't commit suicide. Don't do that. It's yeah, not don't, funny. Don't do that. Plus, Please, uh, yeah. plus you know, uh. Bullets with butterfly wings, despite all my rage, that kicks in. And yeah, come everyone on. Everyone knows how that ah, is. It's smashing Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins, Billy Corgan. Really. I think more than, I think actually more than any other song, that's the one. I think that's, that would be the song. That is, yeah. the smashing Pumpkins song. I would song, pick that. Unquote. I would put that. I, yeah, that would be the song I would say if you're going to listen to that album. And I know a lot of people say, well, that's, that's like their number one hit that came off of that. So you're just going mainstream. Didn't but, Zero come off that album too? Which one was Zero on? Uh, I think it was on Infinite, wasn't was it? Was it Infinite? I think it was. Because Zero was, it, was a really good song. Yeah. And I think it was. Was it Sadness or Madness? I don't remember. I don't either. I don't know. I think so. I think I think it was on... Oh, I should pull it. Let's I just should, go with it. We'll go with and it. If we're, if we're wrong, wrong let yeah. us know. Tell us. I'm sure. Tell us, hey, you're, you're going to you're going stupid. Going stupid, yeah. Uh, number nine for Mr. Uh, SOS. Yeah. CQD. My number nine. My number nine is Avenged Sevenfold. Waken the Fallen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bit, yeah. We're going in the right direction. Right. From and, five yeah. finger death. Punch. Yeah. <laughs> well, the reason I picked Waken the Fallen is uh, it's actually their it's their second CD, first mainstream CD. But uh, I love Avenged Sevenfold because of their music. The opposite reason of of, of uh, five, five finger, finger death punch. Yeah. But uh, I love which the is music. funny because this is a music list. Yeah. <sighs> You stop it! Uh, you you stop that! Stop you it. stop that right now! <laughs> um, anyway, no, uh, I, I love I love the music. I love the harmonies. I love how oh, the guitars yeah, play the off guitar, each yeah, other. I love how they, I'm not a huge of any Sevenfold fan, but I do love the way those guys play together. How they write they, together. They come up with such oh, mm, love it. Yeah. But uh, and, and with the vocals, you know, there's there's a lot of uh, you know. There's uh, a lot of heat on that you don't like. Yeah, after that, oh, I, 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 yeah. then I'm like, oh, come on. But I, I'll still find myself singing along to it. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Mm. But there's a lot of screaming and stuff on on Wake and Fallen. Yeah. Uh, All right, lot, so what's the A lot of anger song? that's a lot <laughs> of going anger. every time. Uh, I'm so anger. angry. Uh, if I had to pick one song, it's um, I Won't See You Tonight Part 1, which is actually the you know, least nah, metal, most least metal least song metal on song. the CD. But, I mean, you can plug any of them in there. Chapter 4, Clairvoyant Disease, Radio Eclipse. I can keep going. I love every song of that city. Even the intro, Wake in the Fallen, with yeah. no, no words. No just, words. And all it is is an open note. Doom, 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 doom. But it, like, it gets you pumped up Fair for, enough. for the for the album. Fair so enough. That's my number nine. What's your number nine, sir? My, my number nine, I, f- I feel like we're having a bit of deja vu here. Uh, um, No, that's just you. It's just me? Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Opeth's Ghost Reveries in 2005. I have a question. Does that CD have Bang of the Hounds on it's it? It's the second track on the oh, album. Oh, is yeah, it? Oh Jesus, oh, we're on a no. roll. Oh no. Uh, yeah, no, that, that's all, that, that whole album I think was the was like the pinnacle of Michael Eckerfeld. That's this lead singer, songwriter, 
I know him personally. You do? No. No. That sucks. I was going to say, hey, hook me up. If anybody knew him in this room, it'd be you. It would be me, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've seen him several times in concert. Why didn't you say hello? I did. Is that you? Is that you? I did. I was like, hey. He's like, hello, Mike. I don't know why. I'm always there waiting I'm for him. I don't know what's going hey, on. Hey, Mike, what's up, dude? And he just keeps on walking. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I think it's a language thing because they're, you know, they're, they're from Sweden. What is, what's the Swedish language? Oh, they speak English, too. So. I know they do speak English, but yeah. what's their language called? Dutch. Dutch? Do they speak Dutch? They speak Swedish. It's not called Swedish. <laughs> it's called Dutch. Is it Nordic? Nordic? No. Uh, it's Celtic. It's not Celtic. They speak Russian. Okay, we'll go with Russian. <laughs> the furthest thing it could they, be. Well, they, the speak they speak Japanese. They speak Japanese. It's a Cyrillic language. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the, yeah, Bang on the House would be the song I would pick off there. I think it's the best overall composition. I, st- I still remember every time we'd go play pool or darts, you'd always pick oh, up the jukebox. Yeah, we, we, I would have to occupy the jukebox because people would be like, Was that like a 10 minute song? Stupid, well, it was 8 minutes, but people play some stupid shit at the fucking... Well, that's what happens when you go in the public, the public know jukebox. It. I know it. You get shit like, from the window to the wall. Uh, <laughs> or that... Uh, dum, 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 oh, dum. okay. I first I know what the hell you're doing. Uh, having a goddamn seizure, like where? where who, what, what, what the fuck song was that? Oh no, no, you don't understand though. Uh, in nowadays, that's music. Honey. Really, that's music. So I, uh, I would beg to differ. You know, I actually had this conversation just yesterday with one of my cashiers at work, who uh, she's like eighteen, seventeen, eighteen, just got out of high school, uh-huh. and I was like, you know, it's funny. Back when I was in high school in the nineties, you were only cool if you listened to metal, but nowadays you're only I, you cool know, if you listen I, to rap. I guess. I guess everything's changed. Everything's flipped. That's true. That's true. Now it's like you're a weirdo if you listen to Oh, you listen to that Streamo stuff? If I hear oh, that, oh, I was like, first of all, Streamo's not a word. You stupid pussies made it up. Okay? <laughs> That's not a word. That's not a style of music. And you can't lump everything with a guitar in it into Screamo. Jesus Christ. Don't get me started. Oh, uh, we, got, we got you started. God damn it. <laughs> all right. All right. That's what we got. What are we number on? Number eight? Are we on number eight? Is that my number eight? Yeah, your number eight. Your number nine was uh, Opeth, Ghost. Right? Yeah, Opeth, yeah. Okay. Uh, my number eight is Snot. Get some. This is a good album. Yeah, yeah and unfortunately, they're only one because yeah. someone, I'm not going to name names, died a little too early. Rest in peace. Well, it's not his fault. It's not it's his not fault. fault. It no, it's like not he, his fault. Yeah, yeah. It's Lane not straight, his fault, yeah. But, oh, man. They could say his dog kept... died with him, too. That's well, pretty, that is, yeah. At least they went together. That's true. I mean, he's yeah, on the album yeah, cover. Yeah. yeah, well, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. My but, balls. But uh, I just, I love it. Uh, to me, okay, I, my I, balls. I might get some flack from this. My balls. But I don't really like. Yes, my balls. So my saying, balls. My balls are yeah, yeah, No, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm with you. Damn it. I just lied just to fuck you. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> um, you know, I might catch a little flack for this, but I don't really like Sublime. I know a lot of people. Do I'm not a fan of Sublime. Sublime. I'm a huge Sublime. But fan. if Sublime sounded like Snot, I would have. I think Snot is how Sublime should have sounded. I think sub- Sublime is a, a more easily digestible version of Snot. That's true. Yeah. I, yeah, I'll give you that. But yeah. Uh, I, I think somebody th- called the white man's reggae. Which one? It's not or, or sublime. 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 Yeah, I can see yeah. that. Yeah, I can see that. I do like. Uh, I, I do like one sublime song. One. Which one? Uh, I'm sure you can guess it. Uh, Santeria. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the only one. <laughs> the other one. Uh, my number eight. Is my number eight? Date rape's okay too. <sighs> no, date rape is never good. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Except it wasn't guitar, so I sound it made it sound cooler yeah, actually. Right. Uh, All right. Go on. You're date, number eight. Yeah, date rape is never good. No, it's not. It's not good. The song, the, the song, good. yeah, yeah. The song, date rape. Okay, well. Yeah, yeah. Let's just clarify that. Yeah, make sure. Yeah, we don't want. Just, we're not. We're not advocating. Just say yes, and if she doesn't say yes, and she's passed out, just shake her head yes with your hand. It oh, works. stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going. I'm going out of genre. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah, I'm That's going first with, out of uh, genre. Yeah, I'm going with uh, Lucille by BB King, 1968. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, you can't really talk about the blues very much because you're white. You don't understand what I it came is from New Orleans, is. though. I did. I came I'm from just New- kidding. I'm just, I I'm just I know. teasing. What, you, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, listen, listen I'm going to take a quote. I'm going I'm to take a quote from George Carlin. Okay. Okay. White people don't know shit about the blues. What the fuck do you have to be blue about? You're white. <laughs> <laughs> Stop singing the blues. Stop singing the blues, please? would you please? Yeah, I like. Yeah, uh, I was like. George no, I, I I respect the shit out of the blues, though. Yeah, I it's mean good that's stuff. some of the best. You can't be a, you can't be a rock player and not and not oh, respect the blues. That's that's period. where it all started. Yeah. I mean, before the rock, there was there the was blues. The blues, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I get you. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, when we're talking about the greatest you know greatest albums of all time, how, I mean, I could have picked any BB King album. Any one of them. I I picked Lucille because, I mean, his guitar is named Lucille. Mm-hmm. And that's why the album is named Lucille. And a certain bat. And a certain... Oh, 
Jesus. I want to throw that we're, out not, we're not doing that. We're not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, want to learn, you know, if you want to learn good blues playing, mm-hmm. that's a great album to pick up and, and mm-hmm. try and mimic because all the good licks are on there, man. Um, and the song I would pick off that would probably be uh, Mo Money, No Luck Blues. Simply for the fact that, again, the guitar playing is amazing. It's kind of a you know slower jam. Oh, Can I tell you a secret? Uh, you could have just made that up, and I wouldn't have known. Yeah, you would never know, but no. uh, you can all fact check me. We can. No, we'll, I believe you. We'll do the Hillary what? Clinton, Donald what? Trump <laughs> live fact check. What, <laughs> what do you have to? Uh, what do you have to lie about? So why that's would I, true. Why yeah. would you lie? It's yeah. stupid. That's true. Yeah. Well, could have said uh, uh, the best track on that CD is called "Baying of the Hounds." Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? Wow, that's amazing. Uh, they oh, have the same, the same type of song. song. Wow. Uh, are yeah. we on here? Uh, are we on number seven? My, my my number, number seven? You're number seven. Okay, my number seven is yep. Stone Temple Pilots' Core. That's a good one. Yeah, I like Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah, Scott Weiland. Uh, almost, God rest his soul. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with almost every song on that CD. Yeah. Every song except is for... He, uh, is, is there a bad song? Except for Wet My Bed. I mean, it's cool, but it's not really, it's not yeah. really a song, per se. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, every song on that CD, I love it. Yeah, I love they were such a good band with Scott Weiland, and they, they kicked him out. Core was their best though. Core, Core was the top. Yeah, well, yeah, and everything because they did songs off like Interstate Love songs, some like sure, of other course, albums. You know, but yeah. as a whole album, Core yeah. was just yeah, that was that was Stone Toll Pilots perfectly. Right. And yeah. Was, you know, Plush, Wicked Garden, yeah, and Bloated Sex yeah. type thing. I do like where the, the fact river that, goes. Right. I do like the fact when they're talking to Scott Staff about how he writes lyrics is I just put words <laughs> on paper that rhyme. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What, okay. is it, what is that? What is the? What is the lyrics to, to plush? Or something like about my, my dog or something. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's like you know, if you really stop and think about what you're listening to and yeah. what you're singing along to, yeah. you, you gotta stop and go, "What the fuck am I talking yeah. about?" St- <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't like that SCP is trying to kind of cash in on Scott Weiland's death right now. That's not. Really? Yeah, kind of bastards. Kind of because they were kind of a dick to him, you know. A little bit. A little bit. They made a little bit of a sour girl. Yeah. My number seven. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Animals as Leaders. Animals as Leaders, 2009. Yeah. I don't know that. You don't because you're not into virtuosity. You're not into, like, you know, heavy guitar playing. I'm I, sorry. I don't, mean that, I don't mean that as an insult. I just mean you're not into, like, the Steve Vai's and the Ingvian Malmsteen's and stuff like that. I mean, you respect what they do. Be. Right. I you respect don't. what they oh, do. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, so, uh, yeah. So I'm not saying I'm not saying that's an insult. Right. I don't mean it at all. You don't know what you're talking about. Like I told you last was it last week? I think I said, or, or no, it was during the Metallica. Yeah. When we were talking about that, like I said, I don't. New music has ruined me, so I kind of just don't go out of what I already know. Sure. So I mean, but yeah, I respect the hell out of them. Yeah. Well, I mean, Tosin Abasi is the. I mean, that's a new. That's a new virtual virtuoso. Holy crap. People, you know, for the longest time they were talking about Steve Vai and Yngwie and Eddie Van Halen and, you know, these guys. Oh, the virtuosity on the guitar. Listen to Tosin Abasi. That listen. guy. Oh, my God. There's no no lyrics, so you're not going to be able to sing along with it. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, I remember, remember the whole music thing. Yes, I, like I know. Music. I guess, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, and you know, part of that, part of the thing that makes Animals of Leader so amazing is that they're, they're two guitar players in this band. Uh, and everybody talks about Tosin and Abbas and how, oh, man, look at what we can play and how you can do all this stuff. Well, there's another guy back there, Jose Reyes, that... that Sounds like a shortstop. He kind of does, yeah. He does, yeah. For the, no, for, okay. for the Marlins for a while, and then he went to... I can't remember. Anyway, but he plays everything that Tosin and Abbas plays, and I see... The, they're just amazing. Everything about everything about what they do is amazing. I would listen to that. You should. It's really good stuff. I will. Yeah, uh, the song I would pick off that would be, uh, you know, everybody says, well, Kafo, Kafo, Kafo. And that's a great song. I love Kafo. But I would go with Song of Solomon, the last song on the album. That would be the song I would say to listen to because it's got, you know, Kafo is just kind of like, you know, dick punch the whole way. Where a Song of Solomon is, you know, kind of eases you into it. Are you saying a song of Solomon? Uh, Yeah, Song of Solomon. Got it. Yeah. I will look that up when I get home or tomorrow. Or tomorrow after you wake up. One of those. One of those, yeah. Number six. Number six. My number six. My number six is Tool. Anima. I thought it was Anima. Because you had to get one because to listen to damn James Maynard. Fuck you. (laughs) Jesus Christ. All right, come on, Tool. Tool as a band is amazing. Yes, Yes, they are. You can have your flack for Maynard all you want to. Yeah, Yeah, the rhythm section of Tool. Oh, my God. I agree. To me, there's no equal. I mean, I'm not saying they're the best band ever. I'm just saying they're they their work sound, real well to their yeah. sound yeah. and the way that they put their songs together. Yeah, the, you can't find anything like it. Yeah, and, no. I mean, like I said, and all their know. CDs, all their CDs are great. 
but that one that one is well, that's sure the, that's that's, the, yeah. that's where everything came together right every single song yeah i just i don't know for me i just i've never been a Maynard fan i know you haven't i've never been i can't and I get that uh, yeah i'm not i'm not a, a what is his name m shadows of n sunfold i'm not i'm not his oh fan. Yeah, yeah i don't like him yeah but there's certain there's certain you know there's certain vocalists that i can get by i can yeah. you know listen away from you know like pretty much anything that dave mustaine does with megadeth <laughs> You know, I can not listen to him. It's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I, for some reason, I didn't, he's like nails on a chalkboard for me. And I know people uh, look at me crazy. I, 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 oh, he's the greatest singer ever. Uh, I'm not going that far, but I don't. I don't hate him. Yeah, I, I, I like fair. it. That's fair. I like it. No, and if and if I had to pick a song, I mean, which one do you pick? Stink uh, Fist H, uh, Forty Six and Two. Forty Six and Two would probably be the one that everybody would recognize for sure. Yeah, eulogy. Eulogy's yeah. great. I remember my, my atheist friend was all like, This is my new anthem. I'm like, Come on, dude, oh, really? Oh, fucking hell. Get off that cross. Yeah, I guess. yeah, yeah please. Your, your yeah, anthem. sure. Jesus all right, now I'm going to go with number six. And this is kind of a shout out to uh, some local music, local musicians oh. that uh, recently did this album oh. from start to finish, which is an amazing feat. Uh, and it would be Animals by Pink Floyd, mm. 1977. Mm. And a lot of people, when they say Pink Floyd, they go, oh, Dark Side of the Moon, Dark Side of the Moon, Dark Side of the Moon. Or The Wall. Or The Wall. Yeah. You know, or, okay, cool. The Wall, both, you know, they're good albums. You know, I didn't really start appreciating Pink Floyd until later on, as I got older. When I was younger, I would listen to him like, oh, okay, whatever. That's ah, cool, I guess. And Money, I fucking hate that song. I fucking hate that song. It is irritating. It was always a thousand times louder when it came on a fucking jukebox than any other fucking song out there. You know, you know so what song like, I do like off that album? What's that? Brain Damage and yeah. Eclipse yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's just that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really like any other ones. Yeah. Money yeah, and Noise. Yeah, most of them. Anyway, but so... so uh, <laughs> animals. Yeah. Pig. Pig. Yep, Sheep. dogs. Sheep's one, right? Uh, I think it is. It's, yeah, it's three, it's, three tunes. Well, for all technically, there are five tracks on the album, but two of them are kind of just like. Oh. I remember. I remember. I uh, <laughs> I got the whole Pink Floyd discography. Not gonna not gonna say how I got it. I think everybody knows. From but uh, yeah, I got the whole what from your dad. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, um, stole it. <laughs> Stole it from Napster. But I still I still remember I still <laughs> I still remember going. They had this many albums. And, and, and I remember that one yeah. caught my attention. Animals caught my attention. Yeah. I was like, this is weird. And then yeah. It was weird. That's the coolest yeah. thing about it. It was the most technically difficult thing they've ever done. But no one knows about it. But nobody knows about it because that was kind of, it was kind of weird because that's really the album that destroyed Pink Floyd. Yeah. Roger Waters and... and um, Scaffolding. It's not the name of made no, it up. No. I can't believe I, can't believe I forgot his name. Can't believe I forgot the other guy's name. Only one I remember was Roger Waters too. <laughs> the Jesus other Christ! I got. To. I'm gonna. Ha I have to look this up because it's amazing. So while that... so while you're while you're looking yeah, that up, I just wanted to ask you: do, sure. do you do you know what the uh, the airborne velocity of a coconut laden swallow is? Anybody? Does anybody know? Because Monty Python's still trying to figure it out, and they David it... Gilmore. Okay, David I Gilmore. Believe, I can't believe I forgot David Gilmore. Just think happy thoughts. Oh, yeah, it's a happy Gilmore. Very no. good. Oh. No, but that, that that album kind of put those two at odds, man. There was yeah. a lot of arguing going on when they were writing that thing because they pretty much said no rules. We're going to do whatever it is we want, when we want, and how we want it. Because previously, they, you know, they kind of did like, you know, Coldplay kind of adopted the Pink Floyd uh, rules to writing songs. Like Coldplay said, no songs over three minutes, three minutes, 20 seconds, some bullshit like that. No songs that are overly this or overly that when it comes to political spectrum, even though they fucking broke that rule so many times. I don't like rules. Yeah, well, they, they pretty much said we're gonna be we're gonna write a twenty minute song. We're gonna do it, and they did. Yeah, and they put it on that, and they put it on that uh, on, on that uh, album, Animals. I would go with Pig, um, simply because I think it's I think. Don't flip me off while you Sorry. fix your glasses. I I always do that though. I, I know. Fix, fix with, with the middle finger. Yeah. People just get over it. Yeah, get over I'm it. over. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it now. Okay, good. Thank yeah. you. But so yeah, yeah that would be yeah. yeah yeah Pink Floyd, Animals, 1977. Nice. Yeah. Are we on five now? We are number five now. My number five, you will agree with me. It's probably not on your list, but you'll agree with me. It's a great album. That would be Mudvayne, LD50. I will say that it's the only Mudvayne album that yeah. I respect. Yeah, they kind of went off the rails after that. Uh, yeah. Because that was the one thing that drew me to LD50, because it was something... So, I, I it was amazing. Before. Yeah, just everything about like every single band member with every single instrument did something cool yeah. at every waking moment. Yeah, I and, mean... They just kept switching it. I mean, Dig, Dig was their radio song. Right, and, and, and even that even, one was was as close to a you know uh, standard metal radio song 
as, you as can close get. to get on that right. album, for sure. but still off, you know. Right, and the thing is, when you take a look at what they're doing, you take a look at what Chad was doing, what Greg was doing, and what uh, Ryan was doing, what Scott, if you look at it separately, it doesn't seem like it's all that complicated, mm-hmm. except for, I don't know, maybe, maybe Ryan on bass, that guy was Put it together? Good. Put Ooh. it together, and it was like, It's a nice damn. little metal, metal quilt. Right, exactly, yeah, and then after that, it just went... Well, if, I, if, I, if I had to pick a song, if I had to just pick one song for people to listen to, it'd be No Forever. No Forever, I'd say you go with uh, Death old. Blooms. Uh, no, that that oh, I love that song. That is yeah. a good song, but yeah. no, no, forever. Just, just pinnacles all of them at once. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, yeah. And they had uh, what was it, like every two or three songs, they'd have a little, a little away, yeah, a little, a little, little bit kind of, of just a yeah. Uh, it was, it was filler. Or something it was a musical or... story, right? I, sure. I loved it. Sure. And then nothing to gain about Ed Gain about Ed Gain and, and how yeah. he wrote it on the way to the recording studio. And he's like, hey, let's just let let's this work. Let's just go with it, and it worked. It did so. Yeah, they deserve a lot of credit for that album. I will, but yeah, they, they, you know, they kind of just like them and Slipknot when they put out their first albums were amazing, and then after that, just it's like fucking a nosedive straight down. Yeah, you, you know what? While you say that, I'm, I want to go ahead and throw this out there. You might, you might kill me for this. No, I won't. But um, on the opposite, I always, I always bitched about that. How Mudvayne and Slipknot, and uh, there, there was another band I threw in there too. I can't remember who it was now. But it was always my argument that when they first came out, it was like dick punch. Yeah, and then they. It's almost like they corporatized yes. and then started going down. Exactly. But then the opposite of that to me, who got better through time, was two bands that I always knew. One was Papa Roach, and I know you hate Papa Roach. Oh, I, hate him. I know you do. But they were very annoying and stupid when they first came out. Yes. And as they progressed, they got a little bit more mature and better. Same thing with Disturbed. To me, Disturbed yeah, when they I first hate came both out. Bands. I know you hate them both. I'm just saying <laughs> they're the opposite to me. Like when they first came out, they were kind of like, I've heard this before. They got and a then, fucking guy barking in a microphone. This is really, I always made a joke about farting in a microphone. Now they got a jackass up there literally barking in a microphone. And people are, are like, about, it's the greatest thing ever. You're talking about the ooh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, well, that's the monkey noise. And then they, <laughs> and then them I've fuckers. Never heard that before. That's hilarious. And then them fuckers did Sound of Silence by yeah, Simon yeah. and Garfunkel. Yeah, and they I didn't like that. fucking like ruined that. it. I don't like that. Awful. I don't like that. Yeah. I'm All just right. saying. I just want to throw it out there. Okay, gotcha. That's you. my person. Shut up. All right, my number five. I'm going with uh, A Night at the Opera by Queen, 1975. Mm. Again, another album that you, you, Queen, I mean, come on, Freddie Mercury and Brian May, just, those two guys together were probably the best, one of the me- best musical duos ever. What was Queen's best song? Oh, geez, that's tough, man. That's hard. Okay, let me, let me rephrase that. Because it's not their best song. But what is their best song to sing along to with your Oh, friends? of course, it's Bohemian okay. Rhapsody. That's all yeah. I wanted to say. That's, that's actually, uh, you know. Is it called, is it uh, yeah, <laughs> right. You know. Well, if you take a look at what they did, you know. I mean, that album. Pick a song. Yep. It's a hit. Yep. Bicycle. Yep. Fat Bottom Girls. You know, Bicycle's not even a really good song. I don't even know why it's a hit song. Uh, well, I mean. Bicycle. I, bicycle. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a, actually there's a there's a, a local band around DFW uh, that uh, Save the Queen. Holy shit, those guys are good. Yeah, yeah. They play bicycle. They do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you should you, uh, should, uh, you should play Killer Queen. They do. Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah, they do. They do. Who knows? They do. Uh, Killer Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, Bicycle. Laser, laser that, wait, wait. Uh, I don't know. Fat Bottom Girls. I can't remember what else they do. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. about. Oh, it's a lyric in the song. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Queen, but cool. whatever. Yeah. Moving on. Moving to number <laughs> four. Moving. Are we on number four now? Number four. All right, number four. Yeah. Uh, this is what I like to call douchebag rock. And, oh boy. Yeah. And, Five Finger Death Punch doesn't count. No, this, you'll, you'll understand what I'm saying. Okay. Um, but my, my number four is Chevelle. Wonder what's next. You see, I don't have a problem. I don't. I, don't, uh, I only say it's douchebag rock because it's it's that that rock genre that they all sound the same. It's Chevelle, uh, Theory of a Dead Man, yeah, stuff like that. I like them. Early two thousand. It's, usually, rock, the, it's yeah. usually the douchebag white dudes with the with the hat and the white sunglasses uh, driving the truck. They're they think the they're. Oh, listen I'm listening to, to metal. And yeah, no, but I do. I can not. appreciate Chevelle because Chevelle is a three yeah. piece band and I they don't s- sound like it. I saw them in concert and they, they're not very good. In, no, they're not very they're good. Not awful live. But that's yeah. what happens. It's like the, the 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 guitar tracks alone. I mean, every song he he writes is two guitar tracks, and he records both of them. Sure, he but needs to hire, they need to hire another guitar. Yeah, player. they don't hire they don't hire live yeah. guitars like Seether does now. Seether is the same thing. They're a three piece band. He uh, Morgan. He uh, <laughs> he he writes both guitar tracks for the for the album. Yeah. But then when they're live, he has a live guitarist. Yeah, Chabelle doesn't do that. And. Yeah, I think Chevelle should do that because you know, come on, you're just not you're not doing it. You're not doing it if you don't. There are some three piece bands out there like Rush, and we'll get to Rush here in a bit. But oh, uh, will. <laughs> uh, that you know they do a lot of shit, and then live their live show, you know, you're not missing anything. Right. 
You know, Chevelle, um, you're missing a lot. Yeah, yeah. like one one of my favorite songs, which actually uh, isn't on that CD, is called "Get Some." Uh-huh. And there's there's a riff uh, that supersedes on another riff that is just fucking awesome. It's it's, it's great. And uh, when you hear it live, the great riff is gone because he only plays the easy riff he can sing riff, to, yeah. but not the other one. Uh, so, you, so you lose out on the live experience. Yeah. But uh, but no, Chevelle, wonder what's next. Uh, every song on that CD, I love. Um, if I had to pick one, my personal favorite is An Evening with El Diablo, because that one's... Because it's An Evening with me. Because it's an Evening with you. <laughs> and, uh, and the bass guitar is apparently... But oh, no, apparently, yeah. I mean, it's got the red, and it's got... Um, yeah. Um, that was their, their closure second, and second album, right? Once again, it was their first mainstream. Mainstream, yeah, but point number one, I yeah, think, was their first CD. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. My number four was that. That was your number. Yeah. Four? My yeah. number four would be Catch Thirty Three by Mashuga, two thousand and six. I knew Mashuga would be on there. Fucking hell, it has to be. Those finally, guys define the sub sub genre. I mean, I hate, I hate, I hate the whole gent bullshit. Hey, yeah. go, oh, this gent. It's gent. Do you, you motherfuckers what understand that? that? What does that Misha mean? Mansour went to, I'm going to tell you what it means. Okay, Misha Mansour it. from Periphery was yeah. going to the store one day and said, I'm looking at looking like a j- 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 sound. <laughs> that? This is his story. You can look it up. This is his story. Okay. It's not mine. I'm not making this up. You can look it up. And Misha Mansour talks about going to a guitar shop looking for that sound. And the only way he could describe it was, you know, like that j- 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 you know, like kind of gent. Okay. Noise. And, and then all of a sudden, j- 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 fucking people ran with that shit. Oh, it's all genty. Anyway, we're gonna have you know, Catch Thirty Three by Meshuga. I think you can't. I can't pick a single song off that because the whole thing is like one giant song. Okay, it has different movements in it. All right, uh, but that is when you know, like people who who people who know Meshuga, you know, they 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 the contradictions Germany collide. Or, wait, where are they from? Uh, Come on, Sweden. Okay, I'm not a Swedish man. Swedish man, yeah. Well, I don't know why I thought Germany. I don't either. Weird, because they both speak Deutsch. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go with that Japanese. Japanese, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, so there's the eras of Meshuga, right? When Meshuga did, you know, Chaos Theory, I was like, oh, that's the uh, oh man, they, they you know they set the bar for themselves again. Then they had a couple. They had nothing come out, which was a good album. Nothing was a great album, and then. They had I or one or however many people want to talk about it. A little kind of a mini EP. And then Catch 33. Boom, here it is. And they, you know, you could just tell when they've elevated themselves up to the next, you know, next realm, if you will. But that that whole album, that whole I'm have to album to that one. was technical. I mean, everything about I, it technically. When I, went, when I went to go get to the Metallica album, uh, I, I, I actually <laughs> finally, in my hand, saw a Meshuggah album. I was yeah. Like, oh! Which one was it? I didn't get, I didn't, I don't remember. Was it uh, the newest one? I guess so, yeah. Probably, Because, yeah. yeah, the store just opened, so... Oh, probably the newest yeah. Oh, I can't remember the new album, but... Yeah, Catch 33, I'll look at that one. That You, you have to be able to devote an hour I have a lot of time on my to, hands. I, I, do, mean, I have an hour drive. That's the yeah, whole CD. Yeah, we'll see. There you go. Yeah, we'll see. You got to put it start to finish, and you can't skip anything. You got to listen to the whole thing. I don't skip things. I, yeah. give, I give things a chance, even if I don't like it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you I'll may not like the vocal... How is the vocals? Presentation, but it's, very, it's what, a lot of it, screaming the, and... Uh, yeah, but what kind of... Scream? Like, I, I love screaming. I just don't like... Uh, um, it's hard to like, I don't like Lamb of God screaming. I like screaming, but not that. Uh, this is... I don't know. It probably in between Lamb of God and... Uh, I don't know. I would say it's like a softer death metal vocal, if that makes sense. It's not as Oceano... Style is it? You know, it might be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Number three, what do you got? I want some. Woo! Yep. Lay off the old whiskey. You have no Sears up. Uh, what the hell is it? Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My number three is System of a Down Toxicity. I knew that was coming up. I knew that's why I didn't put it on my. Was on there I knew both. I uh, knew you, you knew I picked both. Toxicity. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, it's hard not to, it's hard not to pick Toxicity there, because again, that's an album that you say there's a hit for him, there's a hit for him, there's yeah. a hit for him, there's a hit for him. The reason I didn't pick their self-titled album was because there is one song on that spiders. CD I don't like. Is it Spiders? No, it's No. Oh. And uh, that's funny. No, it's no. Anyway. Um, But Toxicity, I love every song. It's a good album. Start to finish. The whole thing. They're making a new one. They're coming out a new album. They're writing. So they got back together. Yeah. So so does Darren still want to sing? Because he ruined that band. Uh, Did he? When that motherfucker started singing, why are you having the floor? I'm like, stop. Just hear the guitars. Play the goddamn guitar, please. And what is Serge going to do? Just stand there and do a hula hoop? Yep. He's the lead singer. Let him sing. In his. Good off the outfit. You fucking pissed me off. You have no idea. I mean, don't get me wrong. Lonely as day in my life. 
Don't get me wrong. That was me playing a CD. That wasn't me singing. That was me playing the oh, CD. Oh, you playing the CD. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, what was the, um, oh, now it's, the, the name has escaped me. The, the dual disc that they released separately. No, um, it doesn't matter. The, Steal this album. No, not that one. The one after that. The last one they put out. They had like, um, oh, Hypnotize and Mesmerize. Yeah. That's the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was good songs off it. There was a lot of good songs off it, actually. But that's the one where Darren really started singing. And I'm like, oh. Back of Wise, he's okay. All right, number three. Sure. Like, you mean like in Sugar? I I mean, not Sugar. um, Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea, yeah. Cracks me up on that one. (laughs) Now, uh, my number three, I'm going with uh, Thriller by Michael Jackson, 1982. (laughs) You got to go Thriller because... Because it's the best-selling album of all time. Of all time. Of Is that all the only time. reason you picked it? No, it's not okay. the only reason. I, you know, I really... In, Tell in, the truth, you like uh, dancing the Thriller, don't you? I don't. I like watching drunk white people dance the Thriller. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. God damn it. It's hilarious. You know it's funny. No, it is funny. You know it's funny. I know it's funny. Every Halloween tune, some it jackass, I want to dance the Thriller. Just the music video alone. Yeah. No, that's the greatest music video ever. Yeah. Did you see the Bollywood version of it? No. You got to look that shit up. You, want, you will the piss Bollywood yourself. Version the Bollywood version of Thriller. Version. Okay. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that's, you know, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the album that put, I want to say, I don't want to say it put pop music on the map, but it definitely defined what pop music was. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're looking before that, before the 80s, you used a lot of rock. You, had, you know, you had your rhythm and blues. You had your, you know, and then. So what did you, what did you call pop before that? I, you see, that, that's what I'm saying. They really didn't have. Pop. Where did your thriller come out? 82. 82. Yeah. Well, I mean, you had, yeah, that's true, because all, all, like, a lot of the uh, the one-hit wonder types of 80s right. pop, that all came out, I mean, in the mid to late 80s. Yeah. There, there might have been a few that I can't. Right, but see, if you look at, if you look at, you know, okay, so let's, let's take a look, you know, like the Beatles, and yeah. they, they were considered popular music, but right now, you wouldn't put that in the pop genre. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that was pop to them. Right. That was popular music back then. Right. You know That's what I mean? Popular the music. Pop music. But when, when Thriller came out, Michael Jackson did his thing, man. That, that's own. pretty much what defined what pop music was Kind of like when Elvis Presley came into it. He exactly. off his own. Exactly. It defined what the sound was going to be yeah. from now on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. Number I agree. two. Number two. Going down, going down. Where's my number two? My number two is a personal favorite. Oh. It's Allison Chain's Dirt. Okay, yeah, I give you some Alice in Chains. Oh, Alice in Chains, fucking Alice in Chains, man. Yeah. They've, oh, you name, you name us. Urza Meyer in the box. box. Or should yeah. I say in her box? Yeah, Jesus. Chilling Maybe. up some shit. Oh, um, man. Yeah, Alice in Chains, just, I love them. I love them. Uh, I, I'd say that he may have died too early, but they, they were already kind of done by that they, time. Yeah, so, yeah, um, they were. And that I didn't really affect that. anything. No. And um, no. the new, I, 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 I'm kind of kicking myself because they came through town. Oh, two months ago, I think, something like that? No, I Jerry Cantrell came through town. No. Okay, let's... Yes, I know, but they do have a new lead singer who doesn't completely sound like no. Lane. They but... should get Arnell, I bet you he can Well, Jerry sing. Cantrell should just sing, because... Yeah, because he, 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 he did all the... Of, he did all the backups. Was all yeah. Him. That was, like, all him. Yeah. So, um... But no, I mean, he can absolutely do it. I don't know why they had to go get a... Maybe Jerry's like, I just don't want to... I don't want to sing anymore. <laughs> I just don't want to... Yeah. But uh, no, Alice Chains Dirt, uh, once again, every song yep. on that. You can't. Entire uh, track five. Oh, it was a hit. Yep. Track six. It was a hit. Yep. yep. Wood, Angry Chair, yeah. Down in a Hole, or yeah. as I like to say, You is a Hoe. You is a Hoe. Yeah. You is a Hoe. <laughs> uh, of course, Rooster. I mean, that's yeah. the, that is the, the, what's that word? What's that word? It's an innuendo. No, no, no. The word where it's like, that's the song. Yeah. Like, what's that word? Yeah, Help me out here. Epitome. Epitome? Yeah. Epitome is a bad thing. No, sir. That's the epitome of shit. Bad. Well, I mean, it depends how you use it. Okay, that's oh, the epitome of Alice in Chains. That yeah. sounds bad. Okay, fine. Rooster. Then. Rooster is Alice in Chains. Like the Epa. Uh, hip, hip-hop anonymous? <laughs> <laughs> All right, my number two, I'm going hey, with... I see you, dude. That's oh, going Jesus. <laughs> I'm going with Paranoid by Black Sabbath, 1970. <laughs> the whole album. Again, <laughs> I know people talk about, well, I think, you know, Sabbath, uh, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath, Sad Blood Sad was a better was a better album. Maybe I don't think it was. I don't think so. I think I, I agree with you. I think Paranoid is, is the album. Yeah. I think it's the album that is it I because mean, fairies wear boots? And yes, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what I have here. You know, is really? it really? Yeah, it's the song. Like, if I were to say pick a song off there, I would say not Paranoid. Even though it's a good tune, I would say go fairies. Fairies wear boots. I, I'm, I'm in your head. You Jesus are. Christ. I don't like being here. Get me out. Oh Jesus! <laughs> are we at uh, honorable mention time? Yo, all right. I've got a ton of them. You got so. tons. So let's rapid fire. You don't have any. Do I do. I do now. I do, do have, have one now. Yeah. How many do you have? I have one. All right. I'll tell you what. You do your one. No, no, no. You do your four. No, you do your one. Okay. I've, oh, I've got five. So, or six. Well, I'm going to have to go with uh, Moving Pictures by Rush. 
Okay, there's your rush. Yeah, that's the, I don't know. I should, it should have been in my top ten. I really, I really think I could have taken out uh, any one of the albums on my top ten and replaced it with moving pictures. Is it because you thought of it afterwards? Yeah, okay, it kind of so is. I mean, not really. <laughs> I thought of it if before. If you had to pick a song off that, what would you pick? Oh, YYZ. Okay. Yeah. And that's one of the best instrumentals ever written. Oh, yes. One of. One of, if not the. Nah. Okay, Mozart. <laughs> See, I don't really, I don't really consider yeah, classical don't music instrumentals because that's what classical music is. Well, sure. It, I mean, they all, they're all instrumentals. They're all instrumentals. But yeah. I just, I don't. Yeah, okay. well, you know what I'm saying. Fair enough. All right, let me go through mine. All right, rapid fire. Are you ready? Yep. Nine Inch Nails, the Fragile. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. If I had to pick a song. Oh, the geez. fragile, uh, the fragile, <laughs> the frail, yeah, the frail, or uh... everything. Yep. Day of the World went away. Yep, that one. There you go. Offspring smash. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, this before this before they turned before, to shit. Yeah, before they went to shit. Yeah. yeah. Once again, almost every song on that CD. Yeah. Is, is Gotta get away. Cool. Bad habit. Bad habit. Yeah. yeah. You know what you're in for. Yep. Um, let's see. Then I'm gonna go with uh, Marilyn Manson, Antichrist Superstar. Uh, I'd fart in a box. The only reason I picked that one. Is because that was the pinnacle of what he was. That's what he was trying. That album is what he was trying to. Fair do. enough. Everything else was crap. You that just made him. you just made Jay Stone's top ten list yourself because you're a Marilyn Manson fan. I I, I grew up loving Marilyn Manson. Now I'll tell you why. Because my parents hated him. <laughs> that is why I ended up loving Marilyn Manson. Is because yeah. my parents hated him. I will say the guy is a uh, you know he's uh, he's very intelligent. Yes, I uh, oh, yeah. love the way he conducts himself in interviews. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. I don't like. I think he's a marketing. He's a marketing genius. Sure. Yeah. He's the kiss of his generation. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good way to put it. Yeah. And Elvis Presley of it's yeah. like every generation's a new type. Yeah. Of, exactly. Who's it now? Lady Gaga. I fucking hope not. <laughs> well, I mean, we're all going to the pop rap side. Yeah, that's true. Thing, so. All right. What's your last one? Um, I got two more. Oh, two more. Oh, yeah, three more. Holy crap! Well, Toadie's rubber neck. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, well, you, can't, be, you cannot. Every, every song on the you CD can't album. say anything in this. They're probably the most underutilized band ever because they had just that. I mean, they had another album, but then yeah, yeah, that sucked. Yeah, them in Candlebox. I miss them. They actually had a really good CD. They won. Yeah, they yeah, had one good song, and that was no. They had like, that whole album was pretty good. Was it? Yeah, I listened to it. Anyway, uh, Muse, Sing for Absolution. Okay, it's a great yeah. CD. Yeah, uh, and then Fear Factory, Obsolete. I didn't one. like Obsolete because I mean I do like Obsolete I do like Fear Factory but I didn't some it was like drawn out some of this yeah. fall shock yes <laughs> like shock would have been so much better had they shortened it by yes, half yes I will agree you know I what will mean? agree that it was a little too long but come on Edge Crusher Edge Crusher come, come on. on yeah 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 for come sure on. absolutely and my last one is the one you're gonna give me flack for it's Slipknot and it is Iowa and I and the reason I picked Iowa over the first one. What? Uh, I, I just think Iowa was a uh, look. The song Iowa, which is a remake of Killers Are Quiet, right? Yeah, I like that song. Yep. Okay, but you could tell that they went into the studio and said, "How can we piss some motherfuckers off? We got banned from MTV for a song, fuck, song called Wait and Bleed. Let's see if we can pass. See how far we can push you off. The number is six six six. Come to mind. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. I'm okay with it. I, to me, well, I mean, plus they, they, to me, they utilized the all the members of the band a little bit better on Iowa because they did. I think they, they captured them a lot yeah, better, I mean. better. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because exactly they I mean. utilized all them motherfuckers. In, oh yeah, and, I mean, uh, do, 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 yeah. beer keg. But yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> but the the song that I love and it, the damn song is escaping me right now. Um, it, it it actually my favorite song on that CD and it's it's not very Slipknot e. Um, damn it, uh, it's Skin Ticket. Oh, okay. Skin ticket. Because okay. that one was very, you know, not really heavy. Just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not small. I don't know the words to use. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I get it. I, I, so, I, I, I just didn't like it because it, it, was, a, it was a total marketing scheme. Um, yeah. It wasn't as raw as the first album. That's true. I and, will give the first album that. It is, it, it is very raw. Yeah. And it's got some of the best kicking the dick riffs sure. um, ever. Sure. I mean, Jesus Christ, surfacing makes me just want to beat someone up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. We're on top of our number ones. We're on our number ones. Uh, Let me guess. Yours is the Metallica. Mine is the Metallica Mine is also album. the Metallica. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, how are we going to do this? I don't It might be the same one. It probably is the same one. It has to be the same one if you're a Metallica fan. Well, if you're a real Metallica fan. Okay, I'll tell you what my real one is. Your real one is Master of Puppets. Is that yours? <laughs> of course. Okay, then I'll say my <laughs> other one, Justice. <laughs> um, yeah, Master of Puppets is definitely my favorite, yeah. but, I mean, Justice is it's a great right album. there right there next to it. The only thing I didn't like about Justice was the production quality, of course. Right. Uh, the dick measuring between, you know, the original, or the core three members and the new guy, and the, you know, the whole subversion yeah, of Jason. Most Houston, people in this but... world would not hear the difference. 
That's true because they did re they did somebody released an album the and justice for all dot 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 with bass. <laughs> um, yeah, it's true. You know, I mean, Metallica's always been more guitar heavy, right? But uh, yeah, Cliff Burton was not. He, but that just shows how great Metallica is. Sure. We're we're, we're going to be a, a, a guitar heavy band, but we're going to get one of the greatest bassists to ever live. Over here in this band, yeah, you'll hear them sometimes. Oh, you hear them a lot. You hear you hear them a lot. And, just, and yeah, I got that. Sure, yeah, yeah. So if I'm gonna pick a song off of, oh, you what, what picks you? What is Justice? Justice. I'll just take Justice. So you have Master. Okay. Okay. If I had to pick a song, no, 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 no. You pick one off of Master. I'll oh. pick one off of Justice. Oh, Master. You go with Master Puppet. Well, yeah, because like I said in the Metallica thing, that's one of the greatest metal band metal tunes ever. Ever written? Yeah, I don't know. That's so, tough for me. Damage Incorporated is, t- is you know, battery. Yeah, that's. I mean, Master Puppets is obviously. How about how about how about how about this? How about Battery Master Puppets? The thing that should not be. Welcome Home Sanitarium. Disposable Heroes. Uh, shit. Oh, the Messiah, Orion, you and Damage Inc. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up there for a second. Oh well, yeah. I yeah. Went, Whoop. You know, I actually got the beer challenge on that. Uh, we playing poker a few uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah. Somebody said, "I bet you can't name all the songs in order from each album." I said, "Oh, really? What's the bet?" <laughs> I said, "What's the bet?" <laughs> for Metallica. For Metallica. Did you get through Garage Inc. both discs and S and M? He okay. So I didn't make. I didn't make. I didn't stipulate the terms of the bet. Oh, okay. He stipulated the terms of the bet. Said, okay. "Oh, well, only the albums that count. Only, only from from Kill 'Em All to Justice." I said, oh, I said, easy. that's it. I said, fucking hell, you just give me the bottle. Shit, you lost. Right. <laughs> you lose. And he should have done that. Phone. I should have said, said all the Bam, 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 bam. I went to. Did, did I, you do saying, did, did I can't do Saint Anger. I can't do Saint Anger. I can't do Saint Anger. I can't do Death Magnetic. I can't do Death Magnetic. I can't do Reload. I can't even do Load. I can't do Load and Reload. That's what I grew up on was Black Album Load and Reload, unfortunately. Yeah, I grew up on Black Album Load and Reload. That's what I grew up on was Black Album Load and Reload, unfortunately. I grew up on Justice, is what I started with. Yeah. Justice. I was a good. But yeah. all that shit. Yeah. So to Justice now. Okay, um, so if I got to pick an, if I have to pick a song off of Justice, yeah. and we're gonna leave "To Live Is to Die" off because that's what I picked. That was your week. favorite, yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, oh, jeez, uh, you don't like "I the Beholder" that much. Um, well, I mean, I do. It's just the last one on the list. Last one, yeah. Uh, if I had "Freight to... Ends of Sanity" is a great yeah. song. Harvester, uh, Harvester, Short Sorrow, Straw. Short of Straw. Jesus. One, yeah. Although See, you know, on the, on the, on the Short of Straw, Kirk just completely goes way off key in his solo. And, it's bad. And it's bad. I really don't care. It's bad. I don't care. It's, he even says it's bad. I'm going to tell you that I don't care. He even says I don't play that be, solo live anymore because the it's bad because the main riff. Yeah. Except for it. Yeah. Sure. No, it's a good. Yeah, I, dude, and again, let's not let's not forget the most underrated song on that CD is Dyer's Eve. Dyer's Eve. Oh, yeah. Dyer's Eve is dear mother, dear father. Yeah. Time is frozen. Still. Time is frozen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, this has been a fun top ten. I got to say, this is. A, Are you sure about that? No, it's been dreadful. You with know, your five get, finger fucking I can't death get these punch. Forty five minutes back. Well, it's been actually. It's uh, yeah, but a little over forty five minutes. Oh, has? Yeah. I was going to tell you to tell me a story, but uh, no, you, no you, story. You can fuck off and die. Oh, don't be like that. Don't be like that. So, so yeah, I, tonight, next tonight. week. Next week is our last one. What are we going to do next week? We're going to do top ten Christmas songs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Top ready for that. Now, let me ask you a question. What's that? Are we going to do traditional or what we feel is a Christmas? Song? You can do. Yeah, well, look, no, I'm done. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Whatever. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I mean, yeah. if you're if you're like you know the fucking Satan's Opus, no, you can't do Satan's Opus. Well, what if I like Satan? Well, that's fine, but you can't do Satan's Opus. Do you remember that song Satan on uh, the Spawn soundtrack? Satan, yeah. Satan, Satan. Yeah. Satan. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jesus. Anyway, anyway, yep. that's our time. I think we're over. We're actually over a little bit. That's okay. I'm sure you guys are enjoying this. You, you know what? Us. You know we're we're over because Ricky Parker said he's not going to work this week. I hope he's listening, Ricky Parker. I'm calling you out for I, not doing your segment. I don't know you, <laughs> but uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just teasing, uh, Ricky Parker. You're uh, you're 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 an okay person. You're cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, let's let's kick this on back over to Jay Stone from the Jay Stone Show. Say goodbye, Jeremy. Goodbye, Jeremy. Goodbye, Jeremy. He sounds like Shuli from the Howard Stern Show. I love that segment. I'm Jay Stone. You listen to my show at rockmetaltalk.com live, but dead from Tarpon Springs, Florida. That was the Johnny O segment with his pal Jeremy. Um, he did say that he had one more show for the week so he can skip a week or whatever but we're doing two more shows or we can just end it for the rest of the year though nope. 
but I gotta do I gotta do one more show because I gotta do my top picks. And uh, they want to do their Christmas picks, and that's funny that you called Ricky out on the show. Um, that's pretty funny stuff. Uh.